Hillary is 62 years old. She went to the doctor because she noticed that her belly was swollen. She has always had a prominent tummy, but lately it seems to have grown. Will this swelling hide an ovarian cancer? Jennifer is 55 years old. She has begun to notice a sharp pain in the area she refers to as the left ovary. The pain progressively gets worse. She's desperate and will go to the emergency room because she doesn't know what to do. Will this sharp pain have something to do with an ovarian cancer? Rhonda is 68 years old. For weeks she has noticed that when she starts eating her stomach fills. That's why she is progressively losing appetite. Her doctor has already prescribed her proton pump inhibitors, but they're not working. Should Rhonda suspect that below her early satiety may be an ovarian cancer? Watch the full video and learn to distinguish the symptoms of ovarian cancer, so if suffering from it, you might suspect it as soon as possible. Go for it! This tumor is the female cancer that is usually detected more evolved because being inside the abdomen and not causing any outward bleeding, when it causes symptoms, cancer is usually very big. If cancer is limited to the ovary, there may be several ways to appear. Let's see them one by one. Situation 1. Before it produces symptoms, the gynecologist detects ovarian cancer in the pelvic exam. In women who carry out their periodic reviews, ultrasound made by the doctor can determine if their ovaries are healthy. Sometimes large cysts or masses in one of the ovaries are observed, requiring more tests to eventually diagnose an ovarian cancer. Situation 2. The abdomen is swollen and a palpable mass can be detected. The feeling of having a swollen abdomen and even the possibility to palpate a mass in the area of the ovaries is typical of tumors that have already acquired a considerable size, at least the size of a tennis ball. In the abdomen, especially if the woman is overweight or obese, ovarian cancer can be hidden unnoticed. These ovarian tumors can even weigh several kilos. Situation 3. Woman refers a strong and progressive pain resistant to mild analgesics. The ovary is a structure that is literally hanging from the fallopian tubes and ligaments that attach it to the surface of the pelvis. Through these structures, ovary gets the blood through the arteries something that is essential to properly oxygenate. If the tumor is a medium-large size, ovary can be twisted with the movements of the woman, strangling the blood supply and therefore starting to suffer from lack of oxygen, which can cause death of cells in the ovary. When this cell death begins, the ovary starts to hurt. It is a pain that increases in intensity, often encourage visits to the emergency department. Situation 4. The tumor grows forward and compresses the bladder. If the tumor grows a lot and forward, it can push into the bladder. If ovarian cancer simply pushes the wall, there's no problem. If it breaks bladder wall, blood might appear in the urine producing symptoms of cystitis and staining during bread, phenomenon called hematuria, but this only occurs in very advanced tumors. Before breaking the bladder wall, ovarian cancer can cause crushing of the entry into the bladder of one or both tubes that bring urine from the kidneys, the ureters, so that urine can no longer be ejected. 
pressure in the kidney will increase and hydronephrosis occurs. If we don't realize that in time, we may lose a kidney or both. Situation 5. Ovarian cancer grows backwards and compresses the large intestine. If the tumor prefers to grow backwards, as their neighbors are the rectum and sigmoid colon, the final sections of the large intestine where the feces accumulate before being expelled through the anus, if ovarian cancer pushes them, it will make transit of stool more difficult, which favors constipation. It is very uncommon for a woman that her constipation is motivated by an ovarian cancer, but we must always take into account all our symptoms to discuss them with our doctor and let him have all the data. We have seen the symptoms that can cause cancer in the ovary, but what happens when the tumor escapes from the ovary either directly by pouring their cells to the peritoneum, either through the lymphatic system or through blood? Let's see. When the tumor is already outside the ovary, may be because it has followed one or more of these three different ways. The tumor breaks the peritoneal membrane and spreads throughout the abdomen. Tumor escapes through the lymphatics or tumor enters the blood. Let's see where each of these three ways leads. Situation 1. Ovarian cancer spreads directly across the peritoneum. Ovarian cancer can spread through the peritoneal cavity, that is, a virtual cavity lined by the peritoneum to enable frictionless movement of the abdominal viscera. If cells of ovarian cancer enter the peritoneal cavity directly because the tumor has grown and has broken the peritoneum covering the ovary, these cancer cells start to swim and can be placed anywhere in the abdomen. Groups of cells will grow and will even cause symptoms of peritonitis with diffuse abdominal pain. This even can cause cessation of movement through the intestine because it is compressed from the outside. Cancer cells can colonize the liver from the outside irritating the capsule that surrounds it and causing a localized pain in the upper right abdomen. Situation 2. The tumor has escaped through the lymphatic vessels. Ovarian cancer can leave the pelvis into the surrounding lymphatic chains. These nodes full of tumor cells often cause no symptoms. Seldom, when there is a large involvement of lymph nodes, especially on one side of the pelvis, the rise of lymph fluid may be interrupted. These liquids will remain in the leg. That leg will increase in thickness. This is called lymphedema. Situation 3. The tumor has escaped through the blood. When cancer breaks a blood vessel near the tumor and access blood, tumor cells travel throughout the body. In places where due to their special conditions they like to stay and live, these cells leave the blood vessel and settle, growing and multiplying. In the case of ovarian cancer, the most common sites where metastases appear are within the liver. When ovarian cancer cells are established within the liver, where they have a ride through blood, they begin to grow widely and begin to crush liver cells. When broken, the contents of these liver cells, which are transaminases, will get into the blood, thus increasing their levels, as detected in a blood test. If metastasis compress small channels that lead bile within the liver, the amount of bilirubin may increase in the blood. This can make the woman get a yellow tint in her skin, phenomenon called jaundice, in the lungs. When tumor cells start living within the lungs, they usually form separate groups, eventually appearing multiple metastases, which will gradually grow. 
If they cancel enough lung function, this can cause difficulty breathing, a symptom called dyspnea. If they touch a breathing tube, bronchus, or their branches, this will irritate them, producing a very troublesome dry cough, very difficult to alleviate. If they are placed near a blood vessel, this vessel can break, appearing a little blood with that cough. In the bones. If tumor cells grow inside bone, when metastases become very large, they can break the layer that covers bone, the periosteum. It has great sensitivity, appearing pain. This growth compromises bone strength, and especially if bone has to bear weight, it may break. A special case of bone metastasis occurs when they affect vertebrae. It may appear back pain, and even when vertebrae breaks, it can cause neurological symptoms that fall into the spinal cord compression syndrome, which is an oncologic emergency. As you can see, ovarian cancer can cause the appearance of many signs and symptoms. Let's summarize them. Symptoms that may cause ovarian cancer are In the ovary itself Most often ovarian cancer is diagnosed in an ultrasound done at the gynecologist's office. It is also common that abdomen swells and even women can palpate an internal lump. Less often ovarian cancer can cause A strong progressive pain when the tumor twists the ovary cystitis or blood in the urine if cancer infiltrates the bladder, hydronephrosis when tumor crushes a ureter, or progressive chronic constipation if the tumor grows backwards. In regions of lymphatic drainage, most often this doesn't produce any symptoms. Sometimes lymphedema appears. In the rest of the body, if the rupture of tumor into the peritoneum occurs and spreads throughout the abdomen, it may cause peritonitis with its typical pain. Or pain can appear in the liver area. Or even subclusion or intestinal obstruction. If it spreads through the blood, most often blood transaminases will increase or jaundice will appear if the liver is affected cough, hemoptysis or dyspnea if metastases are located in the lungs, or bone pain or fractures if bone is involved. It is very important to know the symptoms of ovarian cancer. Do not forget to carry out the early diagnosis test of this tumor as prescribed by your doctor. To detect ovarian cancer as soon as possible is the best way to beat him.